when you're looking at how climate change is impacting um, indigenous communities across the U.S., um, it's impacting them from, um, you know, anything from extremes of some communities being forced to make that difficult decision where they might need to relocate away from their homelands, um, to migration patterns from, you know, people have been put on reservations, and now the plants and the animals and resources they depended on, those are starting to migrate off of their ancestral lands, um, and those are resources they depended on. I'm an anthropologist by background, and a lot of what I do is really focused on how to bring different groups of people from different ways of knowing and understanding, whether you're coming from uh, different community backgrounds, whether you're coming um, from more of a Western science background, from policymakers, how to bring people to the same common table together in a conversation and engage with each other on equal footing as to how can we work together to most effectively and culturally appropriately um, work towards climate adaptation. When we're talking about whether it's Western science or traditional knowledges or local knowledge, they're all sciences, they're all ways of understanding. And how do we have a conversation together where we're talking about the same issues, but we're not talking past each other, right? Where we find that common language to actually speak together, to hear each other, to listen to each other. And that way we can actually create a much more respectful, trusting partnership where folks like from the AAAS and scientists can come in is, is engaging with communities and asking them, what are the data gaps that you need? You know, do you need more information on sea level rise? Do you need more information on some of these shifts in the seasonal patterns, right? And so how can some of the, the climate science work then meet communities in their needs, um, but also understanding how to translate and communicate that, right? So it's not just handing you a report, or you know, here's the website to go to to understand sea level trends in your, you know, right off your coast. It's also how is the best way to communicate this process. We have to look at it as layers of cascading effects. So it's never just about climate change. You have to look at where communities are now and what they're already experiencing and understand that climate change is adding that other layer to it. Mm -hmm.